Welcome to Ronnie's CCIE Journey. That's right. We are actually taking a look at, well, funding, which is one of the things that we didn't talk about in our previous episode on adversity, but it's a great time for us to go ahead and talk about it now. So stay tuned as we actually discuss this a little bit further. All right, as you notice, Anthony Sequera is not here actually hosting us and making sure that we're actually on the same track. That means he's left it up to me. And one of the things I thought about as we talked about adversity the last time is we talked about a lot of different things, but we left one out, which is the idea of, well, cost. More than anything else, it's one of these things that brings a little bit of anxiety as you start going, you know, this exam is actually going to cost a lot. And it's going to take a lot of time. So what we're going to do is, well, we're going to actually talk about it in a couple of different ways. But because I'm not doing this alone, I've actually invited, well, co-founder of IT Pro TV and, of course, edutainer Don Pazette with us. All right, Don, thank you for being here as we kind of take a look at this idea of the CCIE journey. And this is the one area that really kind of stops us in our track as well. Yes, we're excited about trying to get the CCIE. Uh, the, probably the highest anxiety, of course, is taking the exam and all the preparation. But I know for me, it was like, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, I know that's a little bit anxious. But then I start counting up how much time and effort it costs. It begins to get a little bit expensive. So, Don, when it comes down to it, this is something which the anxiety can build very high. And if you've ever experienced anything like this, you're probably starting to go, huh, maybe I need to kind of think about where I can get some funding. Yeah, you know, uh, whenever Ronnie comes to me and starts talking about funding, it usually means he wants my credit card for yes. something. And so we, we end up having these conversations quite a bit. Like, you know, how can we justify an expense for for the company versus a person? And so the CCIE specifically, it's expensive. Like, there, there's no way right. around it. And, and if you ask most people, hey, how much does it cost to take that exam? They'll say... $1,600. It's right on Cisco's yeah. website, $1,600 US dollars. And there you go. You take your exam, but there's actually a lot more cost around it. It's over double that because if you think about it, you've got to, uh, one, you've got to take a couple of days off of work because you've got to fly to wherever it is. If you take it in Research Triangle Park or if you take it out in San Francisco. So now you've got a flight, you've got hotels, you've got a day or two off of work. This makes it an incredibly expensive exam to take. So, you know, as an employer, that's a, that's a big pill to swallow. Yeah, so Don, I really asked you here because we had talked about this a little bit before as we started. And I said, one of the perspectives that I want to get is, so Don, you wear so many hats around here. I don't know if anybody actually wears more hats than Don Pazette does. But Don, I want you to put on that owner hat, that manager hat, okay? And actually kind of help me out here that if you were that particular manager and, owner, and uh, somebody was to come to you, what is it that you're actually... What's going to tip that to your edge to say, yes, I might do something like this? All right. So Ronnie keeps saying somebody, but let's, let's be realistic about this. <laughs> Ronnie came to me several months ago and said, Don, will you pay for this? <laughs> and I, I'll tell you how I, how I rationalize it, right? So as an employer, obviously you want, you want to invest in your employees. You want your employees to be better at what they're doing because that's going to make your company better. It's going to take right. care of your customers. It's not going to make just them better, but the people around them even, right? If, if Ronnie becomes even more advanced in his Cisco skills and another employee has a Cisco question, Ronnie's there to help and, and be able to do that. So we, we want to make employees better. Now, the CCIE specifically is a little bit tricky, but it, it covers so much knowledge, right? Uh, do, do they still put out the CCIE book list? Yes, they do. And how many books are on it? It's a lot. I don't know exactly how many, but it's a lot. It's a lot. Now, you know, that adds to the cost also, right? So we get all these books. But the neat thing about books is you can stick a bookshelf in your company and you can put the books on the shelf. And Ronnie's probably only going to read one or two of them at a time. So other employees can take advantage of that. And so what you find is that training that you spend on one person ends up benefiting multiple people. And that's a great way to justify something like this. But there's also some prestige to it. Right. Uh, when when you get like when you pass your CCIE and you can say, I have this certification, you know, that that builds your confidence, that that gives you recognition. And it even improves our company's appearance and, and aspect as we tell people like, hey, you're going to learn Cisco from watching Ronnie. Ronnie's the CCIE. You know, that 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 right. carries a lot of weight and a lot of value. And that helps to offset the sting of the cost. Yeah. Now I'm going to put you into a different position. Let's say you are the employee and you go, I, I think I know how to present this, but Don, how would I go about if, how would you go about it? If you were actually saying, 
I know that I, I need to do this, but I can't afford to do it. So how do I go about to talk about my, to my employer? All right. So most employers, hopefully your employer has a training budget for IT personnel. And that training budget should be designed to accommodate usually five to 10 days of training for employees over a given year. You may find that training budget already covers what you've got. And so now you're just proposing, hey, I support the network. We've got a complex infrastructure. It's getting more complex every year. I need to learn the advanced topics. I don't need to know the minimum. I want to know beyond the minimum so we know that we're doing things right and we're handling new technologies and it's all covered. But let's assume for a moment that it's not in the budget, right? So it's not a budget I'm we're expecting to go outside, you know, and really do that. As a as an employee, you've got to make sure your employer knows what your intent is. That it, some people say, I want to get my CCIE so I can go and get another job somewhere else, <laughs> right? Not a good bona fide. <laughs> yeah, and if you're trying to get your employer to pay for it, you want them to pay for you to get a job somewhere else? That That's not great, right? So you do need to be able to tie it to what you can do to improve the organization. And you've got to be ready to put your put your money where your mouth is, right? Uh, if, if I were to strike a deal or offer a deal and, and say like, hey, I, you know what? I'll pay for the trip and the test if I fail. Uh, yeah. But if I pass, will you compensate, right? And many organizations are great with that because it shows you're making that commitment, that you're willing to do it. Or you split the difference. Maybe I'll pay for the exam if you'll do the hotel and travel for me. Many companies have a separate travel budget anyway, so that's another way to kind of justify that. But if you can add on the actual benefits to the company, hey, if I achieve this certification, I'll have superior knowledge that allows me to better train other employees in the organization. Or when we're filling out our next audit compliance documentation or, or whatever, we can say that the network was reviewed by a CCIE, right? That carries a lot of clout. That looks good, especially for companies that are ISO 9000 certified or, or even other certifications like ISO 27001 to show that you had an expert level person either design, review, or maintain the network. There's real value to a company. All right. Now, Don, actually trying to think about all that stuff, I guess when it comes down to it, even if it doesn't work out, there are other ways that we can consider the funding and maybe that we push it off in terms of a little bit of time and just start setting aside some money as we go along. And then ultimately, of course, if you're really wanting to get ahead, you can just float it on your credit card. I don't recommend that. But at the same time, there are ways that you can do this without really stretching your budget too hard but you do have to actually offer that commitment. I think Don gave us some great ideas there. Well, thank you, Don. Again, do you have any other uh, maybe bits of wisdom that you might want to toss in here? Um, you know, I, I want to be positive and right. I want to encourage everybody. I also think it's really important to be very realistic that most people do not pass the test the first time they take it. Have you guys talked about that? We have quite so, a bit. <laughs> so, you know, the exam is $1,600 but you may need to take it twice. So that's two sets of travel. Right. You might need to take it. Didn't Anthony do three times? I think three times. So you, you plan for that. It, it, it would be great. I really hope you pass it on the first time, but plan for a second attempt, plan right. for a third attempt because it may be necessary. And so just, just be realistic about that and the expense of it. And if you don't pass the first time, don't give up, right? Keep at it. But even if you don't pass, the knowledge you gain by studying will benefit you, your career and your organization. All right, thank you, Don, for actually helping us and joining us as we continue on our CCIE journey. And also, thank you for watching. Remember to make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as hit that notification button if you want to see more on this journey to CCIE. Well, for Anthony Sequera, myself, and the rest of IT Pro TV, well, we'll see you next time as we continue on our journey.